Hello there, Jose Rodriguez aka Jake Toolman 1949 back again. In this video I'm going to show you my little shop made quick change tool that I actually was able to build when back in the day when I was creating and trying to design and build my shop made milling machine. Originally I used a Chinese 8 inch drill press that I modified so that it could mill. I had a portable XY table attached to it and I was able to mill some components that led to the building of that shop made milling machine that you saw in one of my earlier videos. Well with that milling machine I then created a DVD that I sell through littlemachineshop.com basically is about basic uses of the milling machine. So I went ahead and used my actual little shop made mini mill and with it I built this quick change tool post. So you can see basically it is made out of steel, scrap that I found on my local scrapyard. I went ahead and milled the dovetail with a dovetail cutter. It took many passes as little milling machines such as that really cannot create very uh, deep cuts. I use a slitting blade to cut this slit here which aids me with this screw here to act as a clamp against that male dovetail that the actual holders feature. I'll go ahead and remove one of these so you can see it. Basically it slides right out. They have a stop at the bottom to aid you in locating the correct tool height. Completely adjustable just like a real dovetail quick change tool. Go ahead and slip it in place and I'll use the bench top here as a stop just the way the same way that the tool post would actually locate it and tighten it down and you are ready to go. This will rotate on the tool post. You adjust it the angle you need it to be, clamp it down and your tool height is adjustable via this screw here. You would have to loosen it, adjust the screw and then tighten it. I also made a boring bar holder you can see it, same type of design. And all of these were made out of scrap metal from my local scrapyard. Now, it's been a while since I've been able to go there because uh, one little incident took place where a apparently a father with some kids were running around and acting like little animals, and the owner of the scrapyard kind of, you know put a stop to us scroungers. We were allowed to go in on Saturday mornings and just scrounge and pick up you know, odd pieces of metal that we could find and buy it at a buck or two a pound. And so we were able to buy just about anything. Now this cost me probably the equivalent of about possibly four bucks worth of metal and another maybe five bucks worth of uh, hardware screws and you know, knurled knobs and so forth. Not counting, of course, the actual tools themselves. Now, later on, I went ahead and bought a commercially made quick change tool. Uh, it cost me about 99 bucks. This fits the little machine shop 7x12 4100 high torque mini lathe. It has the same number of tools as this, it's just kind of backwards. Instead of having the male dovetail on the tool holders, there's a female dovetail. And so the tool post itself has the male dovetail. When I built this and designed it, I had no idea what these things were like and how they were designed. So I just, you know, designed it out of the top of my head and I was able to get it to work and it works just fine. It works perfectly. In fact, um, either one of the uh, tool posts will work perfectly, no problem at all. In fact, I kind of almost prefer this one. It allows me to adjust the tool height a lot easier than the $99 commercially made one. All right, so as you can see, with just a couple of bucks worth of scrap, you can really create some pretty nice little tools. Okay, so if you like this video, please like it, please share it, and of course subscribe. The channel is growing slowly. We are over 205 subscribers right now, so that's great. We're getting there. 
all right so in the next video i'm going to show you some more tooling that i have made in my shop again i am a firm believer in making the tools you require they will not only be better than the ones you can buy but they will be specific to your needs and so they will be exactly what you need all right so until the next time happy machining bye bye